Welcome Simsbury Community Media and Simsbury Community Television viewers and Simsbury sports fans to tonight's broadcast of Trojan Football. Yeah. It's October 27th and it's Friday Night Lights here high above Holden Field for some Trojan Football. The Simsbury Media crew's back for our 13th season bringing you the home gridiron action. In the house tonight are the Southington Blue Knights. This is game number seven in the Trojans' 10-game season, home game number four. It's our second game this season because the home bleachers weren't ready till October. With me tonight, I'll introduce you later after we introduce your Simsbury Trojans. There's Coach Masters giving a little last few words to the squad. And here come the Trojans. Here they come. Led by number four, Zach Tartaglia. Number 28, Nate Tate Mar Mariano. Nice, getting Tate some action there. That's a coveted position when you get to run out first with the flags. How cool is that? And the smoke? Absolutely. Yeah, I was talking with Coach tonight. Nick's got you on a bunch of guys not in full pads. We've got some players who were ill this week. Oh, really? And it's several defensive linemen and uh, one of their butt top receivers. So it's, it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. And I'll, we'll talk about that later. But, hey, I'm Roger Coombs bringing you the action up here in Trojanville. Exciting night here. Working the camera tonight, filling in for... 13-year veteran Pat McCarthy is cameraman extraordinaire Nick Sinicori. Thanks for coming out, Nicky. You're welcome, RC. You stepped up huge for us. Pat was at the Buffalo Bill game last night with Lon Collide, saw that. Christian's dad, and uh, so I really, we really appreciate you coming out. Nicky's been doing camera for Sinsbury Community Television for, I would say. 10 to 12 years right yeah yeah and nikki you were were you a class of 2014 class yeah. of 2014 yeah so yep. you've been doing hoops with me you fill in football right. you've done baseball you do hockey yep. nikki you, you do a great job and i'm the voice of the simjay saber cats that's right in the yep. summertime do you know yep. the coach oh yeah i know the coach <laughs> yep his name is mike sinicori yes. Yes. All right, and to my right is my football aficionado. Yeah. This guy helps me out. I just make a lot of noise, but he knows football. Tom Tansky. Hey, guys. Looking forward to a great game tonight. So we got Southington in the house. They're always tough. They come in four and two. They lost to Fair, uh, to St uh, Staples. Staples, and then lost to Hall, and then they rattled off uh, some other wins that we'll talk about later. And then, one thing, Tance, before you talk about Simsbury the last couple of games, is the first four games, Simsbury scored 28 points total. Total. The next two games combined, 62 points. That's a big change. That's a lot. That's a lot of points. So, good stuff. And a great win last week. Tance, they, they beat Connor. 30 to 13. Yeah, and, uh, you know, Guys had a great game. Matizic was 11 for 17 for 142 yards and three touchdowns. One to Mr. Butler, one to Mr. Medina, and one to Mr. Kerwin. Talk about spreading it around. Uh, uh, Mariano had uh, 122 yards of rushing yards, one touchdown on a 41-yard uh, uh, carry. Uh, he had 15 carries, about eight yards per carry. That's outstanding. Wow. wow. So uh, as far as rushing goes, we had... Roger, can you get open for a second? Uh, Mariano was uh, 15 carries for 122 no yards. Worries, no worries. And uh, Alex Medina, three catches for 53 yards. Kerwin, three catches for 50 yards. Nice. Yeah, spreading the ball around and moving it. It's just amazing, Tance. They put up 60 points in two games after going 28 through four. So that's encouraging. It is encouraging. Hey, I'll tell you what. East Hartford, Medicic put up 178 yards, nine for 20, 178 yards passing. That's outstanding. Now on the other side of the ball, Tom, tell us a little bit about Southington uh, Blue Knights. Okay, I knew you were gonna get there. So uh, Mr. DiBenedetto uh, is prolific. The kid is putting up 
uh, about 303 yards passing per game. Uh, he's got 100, wow. uh, 179 attempts. He's completed eight, 108 completions, 22 passing touchdowns. Oh, yeah. 22 passing touchdowns. 22 passing touchdowns. So uh, wow. he, he, they, are, they are prolific. There's no question. So Staples, in that loss, he put up 359 yards, three touchdowns uh, in that loss. Connor, 350 yards, seven touchdowns. And then in, uh, East Hartford, 288 yards, five touchdowns. So mm-hmm, safe to say mm-hmm. we're going to see a lot of uh, a lot of passing tonight. Yeah, I, I always, Jake uh, Ostern, our longtime announcer, who will be here next week. We're excited. We'll talk about it later, but I like the common opponents are only East Hartford and Connor. That's correct. Yep. And they thumped both of those teams. Yeah, they did. Uh, East Hartford, 53-26. Here we go. Members of the Simsbury American Legion Post, number 84. The flag will first be moved to half staff for those lost in the tragic Maine shooting. This evening, the national anthem will be sung by Simsbury High School student Jared Gatmaiden. Yeah, Jared. Nice job by Jared. Excellent. All right, boys. Let's strap in. We got football to play. 6.32 Eastern Standard Time here on Friday night, October 27th. What's that, the Harvest Moon? That's the Harvest Moon. Tance, look at Nikki's got you on the Harvest Moon. Give us that moon, Nikki. Show us that. Oh, it's not tilting too good, is it? I'm going to need to loosen you up. Yeah, I didn't work the tilt. Sorry, Nick. (laughs) So, kind of continuing on what we were talking about before, Roger. These guys have uh, put up 62 points in the last two games. You know what? Sunnington's a tough team to play, but you know what? They put up those kinds of points and, and keep the mistakes to a minimum, protect the ball, and like I said, keep the you know the mistakes like the the uh, the penalties and um, you know fumbles and interceptions. Keep those to a minimum. Play a good game. I think they can win. I really do. I really think the the Trojans have a great chance. All right, here we go. Mr. Pendergast to kick. Boop. Yeah. Short, taking about the ten yard line. Oh boy. Oh, there oh you nice, go. Tackle. nice tackle. <laughs> Who was that? Number eight. Tyler Verratti laid a lick on him. Way to go, Tyler. All right, here goes big CJD. 
Let's see. Um, what do you think about the light off? Let's try it. Yeah. It's kind of tough. That's so much better. It really, you can see so much better. Um, and then I, I meant see. to bring a little flashlight to us, but my phone is nicely charged. So you're yeah. welcome. All right, here we go. To use some. Tibodeno back. Back to pass. There's a surprise. Oh, that is not going to be a catch. So I was watching them in warm-up, uh, both teams, actually. That was interesting, wasn't it? It was. It's Southington. And, uh, you know, what? I, I got to give uh, him a – I hate to do it, but kid, he is smooth. He's got a great uh, touch pass. Um, he's got a lot of receivers, right? He's got a lot of options. And I noticed that to the left side, they, were, they run a lot of slot. And Look the, at that. Yeah. A lot of slot passes from the left. And then um, he tends to – to throw deeper, more like post patterns on the right side. That's z number zero. Jesus, he's first down. Scamper in city. Jesus, he's like the, the squirrel from over the hedge. Owen Hunt, senior, 5'10", 190. Yeah, he's, he runs low and <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> kind of all over the place. Yeah, crazy legs. He looked like a squirrel, you think? Yeah, With a nut in his mouth or <laughs> looking for a nut? I got enough squirrels in my yard to... Send to a national wild kingdom. Yeah, me too. I was thinking uh, Hammy, the squirrel from uh, over the hedge. Here goes Owen again. Oh, 51. Last suit him. Nice. Got a foul. You got a, a flag here. Was it a face mask? Brady yeah. Davis might have gotten a little face. That's my guess. What was it? it was in the back. Defensive back. Uh, what do you got here for a call, kids? Well, we're heading in the wrong direction, that's for sure. Let's see the call. 15 yards. Face mask. Oh, that's my buddy Marcus Williams, the white hat. That longtime basketball player at uh, Renbrook School with me. He, he, he lives in Bloomfield, so yeah, he's he's got the white hat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Long reception chance to number eight, John Flynn, 6'2", 205. Nice target. I, I, I hate to say it, but you can kind of see where the 303-yard uh, average comes from in passing. They're just That was about a 40-yarder right there. At least. I'd zoom in a little there, Nikki, if you could. And I'll tighten up that so it doesn't drag. There you go, kid. All right, our goal here is keep the three, boys. Keep the three. Is it zero again? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, nice stuff. Nothing there. Mr. Owen Hunt moving in the wrong direction. Well done, guys. I believe he got stuffed there by Aiden Hope. I, I believe it was what that was. It might have been Lucas Martin's 58 or 59. It's tough to see from here. All right, we got second and six on the six-yard line. Set. Oh, what a nice cross pass to that same receiver, John Flynn, for six points. That was quick. That was nice. That little good fake looked right to the corner, and then Flynn was just doing a really a down and in. Yep. Yeah, um... That was what, less than two minutes? Yes. So they're, listen, Sunnington yeah. is, <laughs> Sunnington is no joke. I mean, no, listen, I, I don't think anybody who's who's watching this or any of the folks that are of here course. on the field today are thinking that this is going to be an easy game. Of course. But at the same time, again, it's, it's, good. our boys can do it, man. You, we didn't put up 30 points by accident. It's not because the other team was letting us. So let's see what our, our offense is all about tonight. Absolutely. You know, one of a couple of things that that uh, Coach Masters uh, had mentioned in a couple of the, I was reading some of the articles uh, the other day. Yeah, Jerry DeSantis had a nice one, didn't he? The he, one I sent you? Uh, no, there was another one at. Uh, was that the Connor game? Yeah, yeah, that was it. And uh, you know, one of the things that that I like to read are you know things about like the culture or the kind of the mindset of the team and the coaches. And one of the things I really like that that Coach said about his team is they don't make excuses and you know they they show up for practice and they practice hard right right and, uh, and i think yeah, you said I that like in the last that. game you made the comment that he actually talked he's to been you about telling that. me about yeah. yeah 
So we just got to translate that onto the field now during game time, right? And that's what I think with the 62 points the last two games. They're young. Their receivers are primarily juniors. The quarterback's a junior. Yep. And Dave said it's just that they're young, and that proved to me that he was sure. right because they put up 68, 62 points. All right. Nice little run gets us out to the 30. Number five, Israel. Jacob Isabel, my bet. I'd like to see him get a few more touches tonight. Had a nice junior season. All right, here comes junior Patrick Matisic. He's really come into his own. He started throwing the ball. Uh, he hit Shane Butler for a TD last week. First yep. score of the game. I believe Shane's first touchdown on varsity. Yep. The third Butler to play at Simsbury the last seven, eight years. Oh, a reverse and a flea flicker. What do we got? We got a long reception. Oh my God. He dropped it. Oh no, he did not. What happened? He dropped it. Oh man, he looked like he, that was Shane Butler right there. It would have been on call. Oh hey, he, I think he started to run before he had the rock. Well, don't you think, Tansk? Um, Hit the breadbasket. He had to come back a little. A little bit, yeah. I mean, he was waiting for it. What a play. First play of the game. That was outstanding. It really reverse was. Reverse flea flicker. He was reverse flea flicker. He was standing there by himself. You know what? That poor kid, he's going to have a tough time sleeping tonight after I don't that. think he would have scored. No, 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 no. He's but a, we've he's been a big at boy. the 30. Yeah, he's a big kid. So, funny story. Hold on. Mariano. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, Just, man. And I was just talking about the Butler boys. Yeah. I love the Butler family. I'm great oh, yeah. friends with, with Liz and, and Steve. So we're coming back from Florida from Jack's wedding. And who, who, is the, who are the last two people to get on the airplane? The Butlers. The Butlers. No way. <laughs> or the last three. Because oh, Shane was with them. Oh, Shane was with them? Yeah, so uh, Liz actually sat between Chris and I. and uh, They must have gone to look at a school, maybe. No, they went down to Louisiana uh, to visit a friend, to watch a, a friend's son play ball down oh, there. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, we got third and nine here. Down. Look for Matisic to throw. Oh, please catch that. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Who is that to? 12? Andrew Kerwin. So I was pulled in. I'll tell the story later. It's just kind of a neat little story, what I got here tonight. Wait, cooler than the fact that like, the, the Butlers were the last ones on the plane back from Florida? I mean, that's uh, a pretty... That's depends a pretty... on your perspective. <laughs> Vincent Mateo punting here. Another Mateo. Ooh! That's Eddie's nephew. Great, Another great family in Simsbury. Yeah, I love the Mateos. They're a crazy bunch. They make it interesting. Remember you got me and Eddie coached that 12-year-old all-star team with Jack and Jamie and Avery. And uh, my favorite thing about Eddie was that uh, he taught us all to respect the bunt. <laughs> <laughs> Through six years of Little League. Yeah. Hey, listen, I remember the playoffs that last year that we were all together. He, uh, I don't know who the number one team was. I forget off the top of my head. And they... They were in the bottom, and so they was like first round, and he beat them. They they beat him with. Uh, listen, you know he's gonna bunt. You got to practice. <laughs> there we go. Steve Bentino. There you go. There you go. Broken up nicely by number twenty one. Wyatt, Wyatt Quinn. Quinn. Yeah. Wyatt's one of the captains. He. Uh, he had a heck of a game against Connor as well. Nick Sinecori, Ray, it got you right in your living, right at the 50. Look at that, folks. Nicky Sinney working the camera. Rambling Rose there. Wow, takes down a whole Trojan team to take the kid down. Wow, that's big Owen Hunt. He's a truck, huh? He is, a big boy. He's like a fire plug. I mean, literally. I used to call Brad Helmkamp the truck. Remember that? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. He was a truck. All-state 
player. I remember watching Brad him Hellkin. run over people. Jeez. First and ten for Southington. Going deep. That's, I don't no, think no, it's a catch. No, no, no. Catch. Yeah, no catch. Yeah. There's no way they're calling that a catch. No. They're talking about it. There's no way. He's not going to overrule that referee. Okay, no. good. No. All right, uh, good. Well, I mean, dude, it looked like they were about to. No, it's all set, Nikki. Nikki, what I was going to suggest is um, on these, like, when you, I'd love, like, Pat, what Pat does, and I'm going to talk to him, on offense, when. Second and ten. We don't need to be too far back there because the ball's headed this way, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes Pat's like this. I'm like, Pat, I don't mean to throw him under the bus, but we don't need to see this side. We want to have as much of that camera going towards that end zone. Can you got it, Nick? I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Jesus, he's quick. He runs like nice. the the. Uh, want me to tighten that? Oh my God, what's the running back for Kansas City? You want me to tighten it so it doesn't sag or? Okay. Yeah, and you'll just have to use a little more elbow grease. Try that. Is that set by itself and not move? Good. Yeah, because I could feel it kind of sagging. Good. Thank you, Nick. All right. No, I was just, I saw oh, I was just, sometimes. I wear a few different hats, Tansk here. Oh, what a great cross. Right. Nice seam pass, kids. That's going to be tough to defend. Yeah, it is. And they seem to like it, don't they? There's another big receiver, Evan Anderson, 6'2", 185, senior, yep. number seven. Nice player. It's a big receiver. He's in, like, tight end territory. Well, for high school, that's pretty good size. Yeah. First and 10 on the 13. Is, that's a little flip. And Ooh, a, no a hold, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Marcus threw that flag. It's either, a, a, either that or a, a block in the back. It's a hold. Is it a hold? Oh. It's going to go back five. So we sec first and 15. Is that a hold or a block in the back? Full hold. He did He did do that. Okay. Mark, my boy Marcus. Right. Looked like he went like this. That's, that's what I'm saying. No. Okay. Hey, I'm old, man. I, my eyes are. You got binoculars, my brother. Then don't question me anymore. All right, I'll try not to. I got to keep him in line, Nick. He gets a little feisty. A little, a little out, of, out of control. Look at that line, Terrence. Look at 58 and 60. We got to look them up. 52, 58, 60 on that old line for Southern. Oh, look at 75. Evan Wilcox, 6'2", 240. First and 20. That's 10 yards, Tom. It was 10 yards. You're right. Hold. Tibetino. A little screen pass. Oh, boy. Wow. 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 He, run, he runs like uh, Pachenko from uh, Kansas City. That's who he reminds me of. Wow. He's like just spastic. So 52, 58, 60. So we got a second. 52, and hang on a second. Jack Walsh, 5'8", 270. Number 58, Rocco Calabrese, 5'9", 290. There you go. All right, we got... Uh, well, it's wrong. It's not second and 20. It's more like third and five. There you go. Jesus, they can't get the kid down. That's that Hunt. Yeah, it is. Owen Hunt. So Man, He is, just keeps driving those legs. Don't care who you are. The only way you're going down when you're like that is with legs. you got to take the legs out. So we got second and six. Nope, first. First and goal. Oh. They there you go. The board. There you go. It's a good stop. First down on the six, and they got maybe a yard. I'm pretty sure there's an extra chair, too, Tom. No, you know what? So they're going for three here. So it must be fourth down. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the board. 
There you go. Oh, there it is. All right. So you corrected me back there when I when I and told me it was first down. So that's two times you've corrected me where you've been incorrect. I'm gonna hear about this for the rest of the night. I'm gonna hear about it for the rest of the night. Nikki, you gotta watch him. I compliment him a little bit in pregame, you know, and now he's gone right to his head. I'm gonna have to get a bigger headset for him yeah, by next exactly, game. It's gonna exactly. be—he's not gonna fit in it. That's exactly right. Um, good turnout, student turnout. Yeah, and it's—I uh, guess it's pink out night. I'm all for that. Breast cancer awareness. Amen. I'm a survivor myself. Maybe the only male you know who's had breast cancer. You know any other guys? Nope. No. Less than 1%. I hit the reverse lotto. I was just going to say, that's not a percentage game anybody wants to win. But uh, like you said, breast cancer. So, oh, hold on to that ball. Oh, God. Mr. Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. A little scary. Junior. Yeah, the way he's holding that ball. All right. <laughs> the score is incorrect. It is incorrect. It is, in fact, 13. Or no, 10. What are they talking about? You guys okay over there? Or? Yeah, it's 10 nil, not 14. Mark that down, actually, because uh, they had some technical difficulties with the board. Yeah, go is a couple of yards. Sorry, I choked on my Reese cup, Nick. Three yards on the first. Down. Kance likes it because I can't talk for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> second, and, second and seven. Five minutes. <laughs> five minutes left in the first quarter. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> Southington with a zero. We got uh, mm -hmm. zero ten. So that was about the six-minute mark. They hit that field goal. I hope you give Reese's Don Halloween RC. <laughs> I can hear the people chant. Come on, Simsbury. I love it. All right, boys. <laughs> Tom, did you notice when you watched that East Hartford game uh, on Simsbury Community Television? That the scoreboard is yes, right there. I did. Isn't that neat? It was really nice, actually. Yeah. I did notice that. Because I, I, I've got not complaints, but from people who love watching us and listen to us, they, they say you should repeat the score more, Roger. You got to repeat the score more. And I say, well, we tried to get the scoreboard in, but now they have that graphic. It's nice. Yeah, it's Patrick a, Fallon designed that. That's a nice graphic. And then it, Bree, it really is. Bree yeah. follows it. Uh, Bree Gooley, Gooley, excuse me, down at the station. All right, we got four minutes left in the first quarter. We got a third and six, excuse me, th six on our own 32. Oh, it's a little pass. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Pass interference. All right, we got a punting situation here. We'll bring up fourth at the Simsbury 32. Trojan punting. Hmm. <clears throat> I would not disagree. Short punt, short Good punt, knuckleball. That was Pendergast. Was it? Yeah, number 87 punted that one. Well, I will tell you that Mr. Pendergast, along with Wyatt Gwynn and Patrick Matizic, were the players of the week for uh, the Connor That's game. right. Yeah, so. Very nice, Tins. Nothing, like, nothing wrong with a little <coughs> shout-out, right? Of course. That's good stuff. We love that. And I believe we were calling him, uh, I don't know if these guys know. It's like, Who? These guys keeping score if they realize the score is wrong. I think it's oh that's Pete. That's not Pete Reynolds. No no no. I, I gotta say something. 
Oh, that is Pete. That's Pete Crow right there. First down, it's number 23 runners. Come on, Pete. What, get with the program, Crow. They don't need our help with the board. They'll score their own. <laughs> hey. I didn't see it called. They kicked. They had a second touchdown? Yeah, I, I remember it. Oh, of course. Jesus. We had it on, we had it on TV. And we busted their shots. <laughs> I didn't see oh, it. That was my fault. Yeah, I didn't see it. I'm, I, That's when you and I had that little yeah, dust up when I said oh, it. Was, what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. it took my attention away from it. Yeah. yeah. So I'm blaming you so for that. So it's my fault. Yeah. We could do instant And here I busted replay. Pete Crow's stones over there. <laughs> I haven't seen him forever. Pete Crow, poor guy. I have to apologize now. I'm not going to apologize. He's a punk. So is his kid. No, his kid's not. He's a great kid. We had him on our baseball team, didn't we? Or did I? He yeah. had two play two of his boys play football here at Simsbury. One played at Plymouth State. Garrett. Garrett played at I think Garrett went to either Union or a Nescak school. He's a good kid. Great kid, actually. And then his younger boy plays at Plymouth State. I believe he's a junior. All right, we got uh, first down and 10 at the 50. Yeah, mixing it up. Oh, there they go. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. Smart move. Jared Irardi. I'm not sure how to say that. With a pretty uh, pretty nice, snapping off a pretty nice run. <laughs> I can't believe that. What, we missed the second touchdown? Yeah. Uh-oh. There's a third. Oh, my. Yeah. Snuck that in there. Boy, he's really good. Dude, huh? I'm telling you, man. man. 303 yards per game passing? I mean, listen, I, I don't want to talk about him all that much, but, I mean, he put 360 yards up in a loss against Staples, and Staples is like a top 10, top 10 monster team. They're not, um, with those two losses, Southington dropped out of the top 10, but they're like in the top 20. Yep. Three touchdowns in that game against Staples. It's like a whole nother. 300 yards. It's over. Oh, fake. Why? You get in? Yes. You got in. Why, Tansk? I don't know. Because they can? <laughs> I mean... It's good, good answer. It's pretty simple, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> it might not feel good to hear that. Sound good, but didn't, didn't feel good saying it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Oh my goodness. So here we are. Uh, here we are. Two uh, minutes left. Uh, two minutes thirty-four seconds in the first quarter, and they put up twenty-two points. Twenty-two points on the board. Oh my word, Nikki. What do you? What's going? What are we gonna do? Give Nikki a uniform. Hey, no matter what, it's a Friday night, boys, and we're still having fun. Nah, you like your style, Sinny. It's a short kick. Thank you. Protect the ball, son. Protect the ball. Jeez. So, all right. Listen, guys. You put up 30 points. 30 62 points in the last two games. Just got to get back to it, man. Stop playing like you're afraid. Let's get out there and make it happen. Wow. What's the mercy rule again? It's 35. 35 yeah. and the clock doesn't Run. stop running. Is it only the second half? No, I think it's any time. It's we'll got, have to. Yeah. I'd be afraid to ask well, Pete Crow now after yeah. we just undressed well, him and that, we were wrong. I, I, I don't want to see it anyway. So. Oh no, I know, but the, the thought does come to mind. I hate to say that. So we got one wide out. Matisic takes the snap. Yeah, he is not going to get there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Nice scramble. Yeah. 
Wow, he did good to avoid that Travis Bolognese right there. That could have been, that could have been a 10, 12 yard loss. Yeah. He, he salvaged three or four or five yards at the end. Throw it. What do you got to lose? You can say that, Tom. I don't think that's well, negative I was just thinking whatsoever. As, as he was running out wide, he had a couple of uh, the receivers who were running with him. Just throw it. Oh, have him throw the yeah. ball. Why not? Well, that's a great idea. Were they looking at him, those receivers? They were. They were, cut, they were coming across the field. That's a great. Would you tell a running back to have that as, like, plan B? Well, I, I, think as oh, a, oh. I think as a running back, you've got so many white shirts coming at you that it's not a thought. Yeah, I agree. Spastic. Nice catch. Push pass to my Mariano. And he gets smothered by a bunch of white jerseys. All right, so we're just about back to the original line of scrimmage. Maybe... Chad Mariano there, number 20. He had, had some great games. He's, oh, he's, what absolutely. a great season. Absolutely. And I hope he stays healthy. He's got a little brother who's a sophomore, Tate Mirano. And then uh, we remember his older brother. I'll tell you what, man. And Connor, he had uh, 122 yards rushing on 15 carries. That ain't no joke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, 95 yards? No, no, no. 116 yards in East Hartford with 16 carries. Again, that's no joke. So we got 48 seconds left in the first quarter here at Simsbury. So, Roger, when you were saying that some of the guys were, were sick, some of the off offensive line or was it defensive line? Defensive only? line. Okay. Is, yeah. You know, and you remember, if you're not in school on game day, you don't play. Matisic back to pass. Goes deep. Uh, intercepted. intercepted. Yeah. Ooh, a little extracurricular activity over on the Southington sideline and a flag. Uh, I'm not going to say I blame him. A little oh. extracurricular down there. We'll see who it's on. Yeah. I'm going to say it's Simsbury. Yeah, I hate to say. I hate to say it too, but I think you're right. Because they were on the tackling team. And the offense was trying to tackle. They don't do that a lot because Dave has been trying to play guys just one way. Really? Yeah. Maybe those referees are deciding where they want to go to dinner after this game. <laughs> I mean, it's tough because, I, dude, I, I think there were plenty of people involved. What did he say? No, no, no. Don't encourage him. What did he say, though? Hold on. He was, thinks, he said, I wonder if he thinks these referees are discussing where they want to go to dinner. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Which Whatever one? it is, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. It is. Yeah, it is. Might Here's, be. Off, might be off. Marcus Williams. Might be offsetting. Oh, okay. Against Southington. Yeah. Oh, and oh no, that's it. First down. First down, 15 yards. Okay, good. Might have been maybe some bench guys getting a little bit frisky, Tits. Possibly, yeah. It was kind of a melee over there. That's what it seems like. You can almost see it coming when it goes over there, you know. Something's going to happen. <laughs> you guys weren't backing off the line. All right, here we go. 17 seconds left. Here's what I'd like. Look at these three guys wide out left. Get ready to see. Pull back a little, Nicky. Get and get over there more. Yeah, this ball's going deep. Yeah, it is. Oh, no. Jesus. Sorry, Nick. Kid's a machine. Since it's so good, when you know they're going to pass, Nikki, it's great that you don't have to, like, you know, wail the camera over because that's blurry. That was Owen Hunt. All right, so that's the quarter. 22 to 0. Quarter one is over. That only took up about tw exactly 30 minutes. That quarter. That's that's kind of long, isn't it? That'd be a two hour plus game. Longer than I thought, yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Mrs. Butler, there she is down there. Nick getting in on the cheerleading squad and some fanage. Good job, Nikki. So I was coming back and, and hopefully Liz hears this. So Liz is sitting in the middle between Chris and I coming back from Florida, like I said. And uh, first of all, like, what are the chances? But I'm trying to sleep and the two of them talked the entire flight. 
That's the worst. Luckily, you weren't in the middle seat. Now, I kept trying to go to sleep, and it's like... I'm glad that they talked. They entertained and themselves. They were talking about everything. All That's right. Second and one. Nikki's got you right in there. The 48. R48. All right. Come on. Wow. You picked up four yards. They're, uh, so we're tackling high. And their legs, I don't know if you're watching, but even when he is um, stopped, his legs are churning. I remember as a kid, during practice, the coaches like would scream at us to keep your legs going. Keep running. Even if they got you, keep churning. Short, fast steps. Yeah, same play, other side. Wow, there's a flag. Is it the or is it pass? John Flynn, <clears throat> I think he's got five or six receptions. He's a big dude, too. He's not a little kid. Well, they really mix up those runs to Owen Hunt and then passes to these large wide receivers. Yeah. Looks like a hold on a Southern. Thing. Oh, we got a hold. So, dude, John Flynn, 6'2", 205. That's a lot of receiver. Yes, I mentioned that earlier in the broadcast. Like the touchdown? That he's 6 <laughs> 205. Your headset must have been off. <laughs> All right, first and 20, Nick. Wow. You know he's going to be throwing, Nick, so what are you going to do? There you go, kid. No, it's a run. Wow, every time I ask Nick to... Every time I watch a UConn football game, I I wonder why those quarterbacks can't even throw the ball. They don't throw much. They they run a lot. Yeah, they do run a lot. Who oh, UConn? Yeah. yeah. Even even NFL Mac Jones. And yeah, Victor Rosa got hurt last week, didn't he? The kid from Bristol. Okay. Yeah. Klingon's Klingon's best friend from high school. Why doesn't Donovan Clinton play football? football? I'm sure Dan would love that. Oh, three. Number 23 blasts through there. Zach Findley. Well, I'll tell you what, Zach broke through three tackles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be attending the banner night for the UConn men's <laughs> national championship <laughs> from last year. The first game. Oh, you're going to be there? I'll be there. <clears throat> I'm there two I'll nights later uh, when they play Stonehill in, in Hartford. In Hartford, yeah. Come on, defense. Let's go, guys. Wrap them up. That's going to be fun, Nick, that night you're going. Yeah, I'm going with your other buddy, Will the Thrill. Will the Thrill Bromley? Yeah. Third make, and ten here, guys. I'll make sure to send some picks. Now go remember to go that way. There you go. Even a little more. Good. Perfect. Now Nicky, get the quarterback. Oh. Yes. Get him. Well. No. They're gonna have to punt. Well. Theoretically, they're gonna have to punt. I'll tell you what. Gwyn is all over. Um Here. Flynn. <laughs> that was fun to say. Quinn on Flynn? Quinn on Flynn. <laughs> Fourth and ten. They're, yeah, you're going to go for it. Timeout. Timeout, Southington. You know what? Let's take the small victory here. Let's, let's see if we can get him a, a stop. That would be fantastic. We'll take it. Come on, guys. A fourth and eight. They adjusted the board. Fourth and eight. Eight forty-six left in the half. That's a tough job doing that board. I would not want to it do is. that. That doesn't matter. Mr. Crow deserves to get abused a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he can take it. He's got thick skin. The board. What did the... he say to you when he went over there? He said, "No, they scored a touchdown." I'm like, "Are you sure?" And he's like, "Yeah." And I'm like. I thought that was a field goal. It's not an extra point. The board at the baseball field is I, the is the toughest. It is. I swear. It's I did. so yeah. old. It's I, so it's so old. I had Will doing it the the first game did of he the Sabercats, 
and he got up there and he goes, I can't do it. So I had some dads doing yeah, it with me the next yeah. two games. Will threw in the towel, huh? Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> that's good, Nick. You got to be nice to the Jake store next week. Tell him I'm so sorry I missed Fourth him. Fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. Fourth and eight. They're going for it. Get ready for a pass, Nick. Have they had a formation yet that didn't have four receivers? Oh, tipped. All right. Okay. All right. We'll good, take it. Good coverage, Nick. We'll good take coverage. it. Making a stand. Dare I have this last bite of this Reese's Cup? You might have to be giving me mouth to mouth, Tom. Huh? Mm, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> good luck to you, my friend. It was nice knowing you. <laughs> it reminds me of a joke. Uh oh. Like a joke that you can tell, like, like at a daycare center, for example. I'll tell it. All right. It was when a friend of mine was having some problems just breathing. Yeah. <clears throat> And he asked me to go get help. Is this a joke? Yeah, it is. Oh, tip, but caught. There you go. With some positive yards. I was it's on like, a golf course. Yeah, it's like eight yards. Yeah. So I told him to lay down on the green. I drove to the pro shop, and I asked him what I should do to help my friend. Yeah. And the pro says, only one thing, you got to give him mouth to mouth. I said, what if that I don't do that? He said, your friend's going to die. So I raced back, and the kid, my buddy's laying there, and he goes, what'd they say, Roger? I said, Jimmy, you're going to die. die. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that coming. Yeah. I, thought that, I thought this was going to be the ex-Benedict joke. Uh, yeah. I'll let you tell that uh -uh. one. Sick. <laughs> sick RC, one. Good, good for you. That's a good one, isn't you're, it? You're, oh. There goes a first down. Well, you're forcing the short thought that you're... If you had, if you had a wife and your wife, and you tell, her, hey, guess what happened? I put my mouth on somebody else. Wait, was it incomplete? Third down. I, I'm just gonna walk away at this point. I missed a touchdown. I swear to God, he caught that. So third and about four, maybe. Yeah. Third and a long four for the Trojies. You know what I do like seeing, though? All the passing. A lot of passing today. Third and five? Fourth and third and five. Oh. So you couldn't have just kept quiet on. I said it was third and four. You, th you really think the viewers needed you to correct me that you well, think it's third and five? Was so that would that really did a, that make that much of a difference to put down your lead announcer, your lead analyst? That's a principal thing. It's principal. Think about that though, Tom. <laughs> Was that really necessary? I wasn't really paying attention. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll pick your spot, man. You're making this rough. <laughs> God damn, man. <clears throat> well, I just want you to be more cognitive of some of your comments. All right, I'll, I'll try to keep them, <laughs> keep them to myself. Show some respect to old Raj. Right. Here we go. Mateo. Oh. Ooh, going for the corner. Oh, jeez. Going for the parking lot. Out to the 50. It was about a 15-yard punt. Did he punt in the last game? No. He didn't, did he? No, that, that Marshall Potter did. Right. And apparently he broke his hand. A potter? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And uh, now Pendergast is the kicker. And he's super good. Yeah. And he's only a junior. His nickname apparently is Kicker. Oh, he's a sophomore. Beautiful. Oh, Pendergast? Yeah, number yeah. 89. So that's good. So first and 10 on the 46. Wow, that center is... He's a big boy. He is a big boy. Over to Flinney. He scrambles his way to seven, depending where they mark it. All right, that's better. I like to see the Sinsbury team. In the last few games that we've watched together, they've done a great job. It's just like gang tackling, swarm tackling. Wow. And um, 
Jeez. We're starting to finally see that again. That was nice. Wow. <clears throat> Oh, and Hunt up the middle gets a whole bunch of Trojans. Yeah. Push them back. Tance, you ever have a chance to spot out some of these linemen that work so hard? Don't get their names called. This guy's like, I don't know, number 68, 55, 91. 68 is uh, Connor Martin. No, I'm sorry, Noah Herbick. 55. 55 is uh, Tyler Ribbick. 91. 91 is not on my list. Yeah, you're right. That's a blank. He's definitely not a blank, though. So they're doing a lot of out. Wow. That's wide receiver number two. That's Flynny. Yeah, it's Flynn. Yep. Evan Anderson, number seven. Brody Mills on the tackle. So Taglia also kind of making some noise over there. Defense doing pretty darn good this quarter. Yeah, I would say for sure. They've changed their approach, though. Instead of going downfield, they're going out. Lynn takes a snap. Keeps it himself, does DiBenettino. Am I allowed to correct you on that or no? DiBenedetto. 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 There you go. Benedetto. That's Irish, right? Yes. Or sometimes he'll say De Benedetto. De Benedetto. De Benedetto, yeah. I'm going to go with CJ. That's easier. It definitely. It's a lot, and that sounds more Irish, actually. <laughs> All right. First and ten. Oh, baby shark. Uh-oh. Oh, wide, wide open. open. Jesus. Okay. That's a new receiver. No, that's that's... That's Flynn. It's Flynn, yeah. Flynn Flynn from the city of Sin. Wow. So that's another one at the, looks like the 8, 540 mark. So he, he switched sides with Gwyn, who, uh, who was on our side. It's okay. I saw that one happen, Raj. Yeah, we all did. Yep. on to attempt an extra point. All right. 540 left in the half. 29. 29-0. What did he say? <laughs> I'll go talk to him at halftime. I, I, you know, I coached my first youth baseball team you got when. Thank you, though. Um, with Pete Crow. It was oh, really? YMCA T ball. Oh, boy. The Corey and Garrett were five years old. My God. And I have the team picture. I have, I have the team way. picture, too. I did not do YMCA. There you go. Uh, baseball. We did YMCA soccer. Yeah. I, in the first yeah. year that I did coaching with you, not like at the same year. Really? Soccer? No, 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 no. Baseball was on. Uh, I remember the, the I remember the entire like ceremony was on field two. The T-ball. Yeah, it was T-ball, yeah. and we were the Braves. That was the first year that uh, coached. We were the Braves. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, I was the Yankees with Corey. Tom and I were the Yankees one year, and we wrote Red Sox on the on the, on the brim. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can move this ball here, Tansk. What do you say? I Well, listen, hey, we had a stop in the last uh, defensive stop, not this last time, but the previous time. But we also got our first down, so. Oh, boy. Uh, false start. Yep. Um, so we had our, our first first down. Legal procedure on the Trojans. False start. Check your line, son. That's the ref. There you go. They're bringing the whole 
Oh, nice screen. Chad, Here nice run. Go. Chad, go, Chad. Oh, yeah, oh. nice, Chaddy. Just got him by his heel, literally. Big Chad Myrano with a yeah. nice scamper. He's got some jets. He does have jets. Like I was saying, Myrano had 122 yards in that Connor game. He's an even better wrestler. You know what's funny? A lot of the, uh, the guys when I was coaching football, I'll, my best players were wrestlers. Is that right? I don't know why, but... Makes sense. I guess. Tough sport, Russ. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. I never want to do that. Oh. <clears throat> All right. I don't think you'd really want to be getting into a singlet, Tansk, I'm thinking. Not, not, not at this age. <laughs> Jeez, dude. I'm sorry. I don't even want to think. Not at any age, actually. I, I never... need to just, I got to wipe that from my mind. I actually, for a second, had a visual. Did you? And it, it was disturbing. So <clears throat> let's just change that subject. So who was that that came out and talked to? Who is that offensive? I don't recognize him. The guy talking to Colby. Colby Chase, there's there's Ralph Gilliard down there, Blair Zentech. Oh, really? Blair's down there, too. Second and nine on the 34. I'll take a first down here. There you go. Try to catch that. So Tansk, I pulled in. I got my first parking spot right there. I popped my trunk, and here comes the squad walking onto the field. And Blair was there. Ralph and Colby Chase were leading them out. Those guys jumped off the line to sh shake my hand and give me a, a bro hug. Very nice. How nice that is, is nice. that? Yeah, that is nice. All right, that was pretty cool. So Ralph's that, all over the, the record books for Connecticut. He is. Yeah, yeah. He is. He's a great player. He had a crazy good high school career. So James Yeah, Shields. I remember when Ralph played in... Football and basketball. basketball. Great. He was James good. good basketball player, yeah. He was all yeah. state football. I coached him in basketball. 39. Two summers. It was great. And a fall. Oh, oh nice catch. catch. That. There you go. What a nice snag. <laughs> Number 14, Tans. Alex Medina. Nice. But I'll see. I bet you can't remember the days with Duke and that half court shot he had. Yeah, against that, Northwest Catholic. Yeah. yeah. That was on ESPN. Yeah. yeah. I saw Luke uh, the other day because. Uh, I guess his uh, dad owns a jewelry shop by Beans. Yeah, he's a good, I'm good friends he's with a him. Junior. Yeah. That was, I think that was his first catch. Funky Cole Medina. Yeah. Funky Cole's first catch. Chad up the middle squirrels in for a couple. Oh uh, yeah, positive yards, man. Three yards, take it. So. Yeah, Luke's dad is, is, is Kevin Gorkowski. The name of the jewelry store that's not, I don't buy much jewelry, but I, it's the only place I go is really? Kevin Edwards. Kevin Edwards, yeah. Yeah, next to Cart. It's near uh, the meat market there. Avon Meat Market. So you got three yards on that run. Yeah, if jewelry's tough. If you don't know who, you know, where you're getting it, I don't know. I, I'm not a big aficionado, but Kevin Edwards is the best. He treats all his customers phenomenally. Ooh, jeez. Yeah. It's going to uh, lead third and maybe sixth chance or yeah. so. Yeah. Oh, we, hey, they might be in uh, Pendergast's, you know? That's a big kick, dude. <laughs> RC. No, it's another name that will Hold on, Nikki. Hold on, bud. They're in the 20. you got to add 37. 17, 37 he, yards. Uh, right? He can... He'll go for 37. All right. What are you going to say, Nick? Another name to bring you back. Memories down the road. Karan Beckford. Oh, I love him? Karan. wonder what he's been up to. I know. Probably about 350 pounds. That's what he's been up to. <laughs> Great guy. I think All right, he the pass. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah, that's not going to go well. So that's going to be – they're going to wheel out Pendergast for a field goal. They got to. Yep. Nick, he played football his senior year, and he was getting offers from colleges to play. Who's that? Karan Beckford. He had, but Because he was 6'4", 320, 300. 
And you you can't just, you know, you can't make that up. Here's Faith Tansky. Here we go. 37-yarder Tansk. Yep. Oh! It's yes, good. Yes, it's yes, good. Yes, it's yes, good. Yes, good. Yes. Just short. Just oh. short. Just short, Faye Tansky in the house. How you doing, girlfriend? Hey, honey. How you doing, girlfriend? <laughs> All right, little cutie Tansky here. So that was just like five yards short, maybe? It was just short, yeah. Ten feet? It was a good kick. It was a real good kick. That might just be his max, maybe 35 and in, based on that. Unless he didn't get it clean. Say he's a sophomore? Yeah. So we got about a minute and change left. 29 to 0. Nick Sinecori, cameraman is extraordinary. Just got you into that. Here's the big offense. Nick's got you there. Coming right over. Oh, a little early on that throw by CJ. So Simsbury's one in five as we sit here. Southington's four and two, and Simsbury plays their last home game next week, November 3rd, against New Britain. It'll be senior night, and we'll be bringing in the action on Simsbury Community Media. Hard-hitting New Britain. How are they doing? I didn't know if they're I didn't either. I think they're three and three. That's just a guess, though. Second and 10, CJ goes deep over the head. Don't get that ball. Oh boy, oh, what a pass. I thought it was an interception. Did you yeah, see yeah. that pass? Did you see the catch? It was in his arms, in full stride, over in between two players. So I was watching that. Holy moly. I've been watching that during warmups. Oh, and, wow. And when, uh, Dude, I haven't seen something like that in a while. They did it all during warmups, just butter. Just drop it, wow! It like Between two defenders. Tansky, it was a good catch, but because he had to keep his eye on the ball, but it was right in his bread basket, yeah. over and in between two defenders. Yeah. But he he got behind him though, right? That's the well, one issue. Well, but the other kid had the angle. I don't know who it was. The other guy had the angle, and I don't know if he wasn't watching the ball or. And that's good. Wow! So that takes us. Woo, that takes us to 36. So we're in mercy rule t territory. But I just didn't know if it's only the fourth quarter or second half. I think it's the whole game. It doesn't, we're going to find out right now. Wow, duty. That's one of the nicest pass reception touchdowns I've seen in all the years I've been here. And it was right in front of us. So, Did you get that, Nikki? Yeah, good. So I was watching, like I said, during the warm-up, and he was dropping, like he dropped a dozen of those in a row. Just that exact same pass. Two receivers running out, out slant outs like that? No, just one, just going down. Him and one guy? That's it. Just was it one of his guys. regulars or uh, like a reserve, do you think? One of his guys, probably. It was number oh, yeah. oh, cover that ball up. That was Richard Williams. 5'11", 180, number six caught that, right in stride. Yeah, it was a beautiful catch. A beautiful pass, you're right. Mm -hmm. you're the pass so they stopped the clock, so I guess it might be the second half on the mercy yeah. rule. That was one, that, that pass. Oh, just unbelievable. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, we don't mean to gush, but wow. Yeah, it was. It was pretty cool because it was right here. Yeah. We had a great view. Nick got your. That came right into your living room. I swear, I don't know who came across from the side, but I swear they intercepted it. And he and then he just starts running. I'm like, wait, what just happened? So guys, not not making excuses, just stating fact. Southington High School has two thousand seven hundred students. Yeah, it's huge. Simsbury, we right now are sitting at thirteen hundred. They are literally twice the size of us. Yeah. It, it's a campus. Have you been? Well, you, I'm sure you've been yeah. to this, but it's yeah. massive. When I graduated from Simsbury in 1978, we had about 1,900 students. Yeah, I went to Xavier. Our graduating class was 112. Wow. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, so again, just putting things in perspective a little bit, you know, this, the schedule we play is off the charts. Yeah, it is. I mean, everyone, every school is so good. Yeah, it's a tough... Uh, it's and a tough Coach Masters and this team have nothing to be ashamed of. And the program is so good and well-run and well-coached that it's an experience these young men and their families will always remember. Oh, of course. Hey, and wins and losses aside, one it's the, all about the, the effort. One of the stats you brought up, uh, I think it was the last game, was how many players are in the program. 156. I mean, that's that's a lot. That's a lot of kids. And I, I'm guessing, Tance, here, you can count them up. It looks like they dress about 75, 80 players here. And look across the way, Southington is right there huge. with us. Yeah, they're huge. It's a huge team. They might have a few more than us. Um, it's a good squad. Nick giving you a good look. Uh, uh, to me, it looks like it's there. There are more. There are more, yeah. And there are more that are suited up. So too. the clock's ticking away. I think they realize it's 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 run time now. Yeah, that's that's that. And this will be one last play for the Trojans if they can snap it in the next five seconds. Looks like they're not. They're going to run it out. They'll run the clock out, and that's it. And that's halftime, folks. Here at Simsbury Community Television. We want to thank Bree Goolsby down at the station who does the editing for us. The, the station manager is Patrick Fallon, does a great job. We got Nick Sinecori on the camera, Roger Coombs here with you, and Tom Tansky. So we'll take a break, guys, and we'll be back for the second half action. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to tonight's broadcast, Simsbury Trojan Football. It's just about ready to start the second half. It's 36 to 0. Folks, what this is is a mercy rule in uh, the CIAC. There'll be run clock until the lead is less than 35 points. So this half will be quicker than the first half was exactly one hour. Uh, started at 632, right, Tance? And then yep. 730, they were running off the field. Yep. So Roger Coombs, Tom Tansky, hey. Nick Sinecori on the camera, and we've got a special guest here in the booth, longtime SCTV sports analyst, Mike Sinecori. Welcome. Welcome, Roger. Thank you no, for having me. No, welcome to you. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, yeah. here. You just got So welcome I'm, to you, Mike. He's confused. I'm, I'm all confused by the score. <laughs> he is. <right? laughs> he, he thought he was at a basketball game. <laughs> the score threw me off. Yeah. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. On our Trojans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, man. good to have you up here, kid. Yeah, this is great. Oh, we just had uh, the Southington AD uh, is up top. Yep. And he walked by and he goes, best booth in the CCC. Yeah, really nice. Said, yeah. It's a phenomenal uh, yeah, it first is. time I've been in. Yeah, it's you nice. Know, it's really you know, nice. The best part yeah. is? The heater. The heater. Yeah. yeah. Even though the last home game is next uh, Friday. November wow. 3rd, so that's early. And Nikki, the first thing he said is, RC, at least you won't freeze your keister off. <laughs> I said, I already thought of that when I saw the schedule. <laughs> yeah. Because then they, they uh, we got New Britsky uh, next week, and then they head to Hall and then Glastonbury to finish yeah. the season. Oh, wow. All right, here we go. Second and 10. Mm hmm. It's a good run. A couple yards. Got a few. Was it Chad? Yeah, I think, I think it was. Yeah, that was Chad Moreno. Ooh, he's tough. It's number 20, Chad And Mirano, what year is he? Senior. Okay. Yeah. yeah, his brother was real good two years ago, and I, his name escapes me. And then he's got a younger, uh, another one, a third one who's a sophomore, Tate. I like the butlers, for God's sake. And the yeah. dad's name is Ron, real good guy. I've met him a few times, Ron Myrano. So three really good uh, athletic boys. We'll tell you about the first play of the game. We don't want to make anyone feel bad. It was just a great play that just unfortunately didn't turn out. Good fake. Patrick Good Madison. Nice. nice. Funky Cole Medina across the middle. Great pass. Great hands. Good for him. No flag. Sweet. We'll take it. Move to change, Dan. So they're a young, uh, Mike. They're a real young team. Uh, yep. Most of the receivers are juniors. Patrick Matisic is a junior. Um, so they've had, you know, they've had some some mental mistakes that hopefully, yep. you know, will be corrected 
here in the next three games, four games. I mean, it's tough to play these guys. They're yeah. they're a powerhouse. Yeah, yeah, they really are. You know, I what? don't know why we're even in there. Really, their their tier. Oh boy! Oh, yep. tipped. Oh, thank goodness. Over the head of yeah. Shane Butler. Yep. And he looks like he got a, maybe a jam finger on it. Mike, again, I said this to Tom and Nick earlier. Not, I'm not trying to make excuses. Yeah. But Suddington has 2,700 students. Yeah. We have 1,300, so they are actually double. Yeah. Double. John Flink Mark, kid. don't be disturbing don't? our cameraman, kid. We have to ask you to vacate the booth. <laughs> Not only that, we usually close that door, so you can we stay, have, but you got to be, you can't, don't bother Nikki. Nikki's our man. Second and behind ten. The, uh, behind the curtain. Oh, behind uh, him, through behind him. Close that door, would you? You know, I don't notice any physical difference. Like, I don't notice that the guys are physically bigger than our Their Simsbury guys. Their old line guys. goes 270, 290 across. Okay. They got two receivers, 6'2", 200. And their quarterback is uh, plays at another level. Okay, he really does. He what does, Tance yeah. tell Mike? He averaged. He's averaging. He throws the ball forty times a game, which really impresses me that Hall beat him. Yeah, I know that. That means that Hall's got to have a so pretty good squad. I know, and we got them next. And I, we oh, got boy. them in two weeks. That's so, impressive. So, like Roger was saying, he's got over eighteen hundred yards passing coming into this game. Twenty-two touchdowns. Averages 303 yards a game. 22 touchdowns. Jeez. Well, he's got more than that now. He's got five interceptions all in. Here was the Hall wow. score. Mike, the Hall score? Yeah. Nine to six. Wow. So their Defensive defense battle. really yeah. held them. That's a crazy game. Wow. I actually had to double check a couple of sites because I didn't believe it. Yeah, you saw that too. Tess. Yeah, I was like, yeah. wait, that yeah. can't be right. Yeah, that's their two losses is the Staples. And, and like I was telling Roger, he threw 359 yards and a loss with three touchdowns. I mean, that's just crazy. So what's the deal here? So the Southington can keep scoring, right? It's just running yeah. clock if it's 35 you got points. It. I got it. All right. Because what happened, Where the Mike, Cochran rule was they hang had Hang on. We'll, tell, we'll watch, watch this punt. Mateo's punting. Oh, there's your boy Vinny Mateo. Oh, 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 no. Yeah, that was inevitable. Oh, boy. <laughs> he picks it up and. I am around. Is that Flynn? No. Or no. Anderson? Uh, Cameron Evanyan? Oh, yeah, number Evgen? 11. Yeah. So, Mike, it was the Cochran rule was yep. you cannot win by more than 50. Right. Okay. And what happened then is the coach got suspended the next game. That's right. Okay. So imagine you got a JV kid in the game and it's 50 to zip. Yeah. And he breaks a nice run and he's got to take a knee at the end zone. Yeah. That's not teaching correct sports to these young kids. Yeah. So they changed the rule. Okay. And that makes sense. Yeah. Because no one wants to have stock clock when you're up by 45 points. No, no. You know, right? So I'm going to be no. at Tan Juan within 45 minutes to an hour. <laughs> Jesus, Flynn is Look a at beast. that move. It's Flynn. Look at that move. He's like a tight end. His size. Wow. He's like the size of a tight end, and he's got great hands. Was that the, the was that the their number one quarterback still in there? No, oh, no, yeah, Fl Fl uh, yeah it, it is number two. Um, CJ to Benedetto, but yeah. Flynn is is uh, the just, receiver. Just amazing. They had two big. They got two guys the same size. Flynn and Anderson, seven and eight. Seven, seven and eight. Six, yeah. yeah. Six two one ninety two hundred mm -hmm. right around there. So I mean, they went for two. After their third touchdown, they went for two. Okay. And I go, Tance, why would you go for two? Yeah. And he goes, because they can. Yeah. Nah. I, mean, I said, that's pretty simple. Yeah, you want to practice it. That looks like, wow, didn't make it. That's why you go for two. <laughs> <laughs> right on target, Sandy, right? you dog. And he's short. That was a short punt. So tell us about our other guest back here that I was busting chops, Mark Hebler. <laughs> Mr. Hebler. What's, yeah, so tell me what his coaching uh, uh, Mark has an unbelievable resume coaching is. resume. He played double-A baseball back in the day uh, for the Baltimore Orioles. Wow. And uh, does a lot with our college team. He's one of my sounding boards in the uh, dugout when I tend to get a little over-anxious. Mark tends to calm me down I a little like bit. I like it. I like it. Um, <laughs> Even Father Sinicori gets a little anxious, Mark? <laughs> a little yeah, bit. Uh, every once in a while, I've got to crack a joke. And then I just laugh. <laughs> I think he says something amazing in the press box. Oh, yeah. yeah the yeah. voice of the Sabre Cats helps. Oh, that's good. 
Well, nice. Ma- Mar- uh, Mike's told me a lot about you, Mark, and uh, it's great to meet you tonight. Yeah, it's nice to meet you. I've seen you on Cincinnati, TV. born yeah. and raised. Born and yeah. raised Cincinnati. Nice. I've seen you on TV a bunch. Oh, uh, uh, nice. Yeah, so. well, I love how you stepped in and really helped up with those young men up at the big field at, at big Memorial. Time. Yeah, yep. Babe Ruth is, uh, is uh, going strong. So oh, yeah, that's their championship good. game tomorrow night. That's actually. awesome. Tomorrow their fall ball championship. Fall ball. Yeah, yeah, I've won a 80 few. 80 degrees. Oh, it's going to be West, nice. West Starford versus Simsbury. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love Very it. Very nice. Good. Nice. Very nice. That is a good move. Nice return. That's a good return. Yeah. Wow, Tance, what time did the fourth, third quarter start? Would you say? I didn't notice. It was about 745. It's got to be 745. It had to be 745. 745, yeah. So we're down three minutes, 10 seconds. It's going to go fast. Yeah, in the third. Wow. 42 nil. Now, at what point do you let uh, the second string quarterback for Southington play? It's a great well, question, I mean, Cindy. Great, was, great if, question. If it was me, it probably would have been a for the half. Right? I mean, uh, I'm just thinking as a parent, yeah. right? I mean, those kids probably want to get some PT. Yeah. And do you really need to play your guy that much when you got other big games coming up? There's a big hole. For example, you know, Mike, for example, uh, these guys play Maloney. Yeah. They play Maloney next week. Maloney's number two in the state. Yeah, I they saw that. They won the state on... championship two years ago. Correct. They lost in the finals last year. Yep. yep. So, I don't want my stud quarterback or receiver, you know, get, getting, hurt. getting hurt. Yeah, before that I mean, game. you can roll his ankle. And it's anything. home. It's home. It's at Southington. So, and those two coaches, Drury and the Maloney coach, yeah. uh, are really good friends. I ah. believe they went to high school together. Oh, look at this! I'll tell you what, ground and pound. Yeah, yeah. Southington ah. is a physical team. They are. They hit hard, yep. and they pile you into the ground. Yeah. But again, if I look at, I'm just, you know, looking at the D line versus our O line, I don't notice. It's not a considerable. No huge size. Right. Yeah. right. Physical size wise, you're saying, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the strength is there. 62 is a big boy. Josh Clark. All right, let's see. Another run. You know what? Why not? Right? Why not keep running the ball like that? Yeah. Yeah. Right? I don't know. Tansky and I were thinking throw the ball. But I mean. Yeah, because they're not going to stop the clock. That's a no. good point. That's a good They've point. They've been throwing a lot tonight, actually, Roger. We got to get They've one touchdown. A ton. Oh, yeah. Got to get one touchdown. Fun. That's not fair, Faith. No food in the booth. No, I don't want one. <laughs> I'm looking for Isaac Hebler down there. Nope. Ooh. Oh, do you see him try to strip that at the yeah. end? Yeah. I mean, the lawnmower. What are they? They're <laughs> the up 40, lawnmower. 42 nothing, right? And they're yeah. still trying to. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Southington is it's a very, they're, they're a physical team. Well, and you know what that is? That's just good coaching. Discipline. It is good coaching. They're trained. It's really good coaching. They're, they're disciplined and trained. Yep. They're tough kids, too. They're really tough kids. Yeah. Southern yeah. Kids I remember them. playing them when we were coaching. Um, I think our kids are tough. Warner too. or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our kids are very tough. Yeah. But co- coaching against them and Pop Warner. Yeah. I mean, so outcoached. It yep. wasn't even funny. Even at that level, they're running no huddle. Yeah. No. What, what's going on here? They want the, the, the Four players. Five. Oh, they want to go for it, and it's going to end the third quarter. It is. Four, three. So that gives them a little time to think about, just yeah. talk about it. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to punt, right? No, no. no. no you gotta, you're across midfield, right? So yeah, might as well go for I'm it. I'm with you, man. You know, Go for it. I will tell you, I'm looking forward to the hockey season, fellas. Um, Roger was saying how much he loves hockey and can't wait to come to a game. I'll tell you, we have. So last year they finished the. No, we tried to get Roger when we were up in the crow's nest. <laughs> yeah. and poor Roger. You know. I made the three rungs up that step <laughs> and I said, I'm going back home. And, and Nikki. <laughs> <It's> straight up. <laughs> Nikki climbs up the ladder with the oh, gear. Nikki goes right? up there like Tarzan. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Jeez. But I'm telling you, we finished last year as number two ranked in the state. Right, bowed mm-hmm. out a little early in the uh, playoffs, mm-hmm. um, and they'll go into this year 
top five, definitely top ten. High school? In the state. High yeah. School. Real quick, there goes Emmy Lou McLean. Oh, yeah. You get Emmy Lou Emmy. Hall of Fame right there in the blue. Now, here we go, Nikki. You got, you got to jump, Nikki, for the oh. fourth and five. Made it. You uh, got to move the sticks. I don't know. Yeah, yeah he's giving it. He's signaling. He's nice. signaling. Yes. Down. Tansk, I'm thinking if it's 10 7, they're going to call for the sticks. Yeah. 42 0. Yeah, probably. Right? They're giving it the you would, you would oh, like, exactly. you'd, like, you'd like to think so. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> don't, don't bring out the stickies. That'll take three minutes of PT, right? <laughs> Yeah, you bring, that's a really good point. <laughs> right. Oh, man. We'll take it. We'll take a first down. This is a good, best move I've seen. Jacob Isabel's always been a good football player. Yeah. Yeah, I was wish they gave him the ball a few more times, Mark, this year. He hasn't gotten a, a tremendous amount of touches. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, uh, okay. A little bit overthrown. What's going on? I thought maybe it might have been interference on 24. Time though, out? No. no. What? What is he saying? I played basketball with him on Monday night. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, Marcus Williams. False, false start. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, obviously. Moving us back a little yeah. bit. Maybe throw him an elbow. I'll take him. Yeah. No, he's, he's he likes to pass, which is good. Sorry, hit him anyway. I love guys who like to pass because I like to shoot. Remember that uh, false start? Take this. Oh, boy. That's a nice. Oh, wrong, miss. Wrong route. Misread the route. Yeah. That parking lot looks pretty full, huh, Mike? It is. It's packed. Did you did you come by yourself? You had to find a spot? I did. Yeah. 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 I understand there's also a play going on at the high school. We got so, a nice full full uh, harvest moon full or venue. hunters. Which is it, Tansk? You said harvest. I I'm think thinking harvest. Yeah. yeah. I'm very impressed with the popcorn ceiling. We just we just scraped all this out of our house. <laughs> <laughs> the booth has I the think they brought it over here. Hunter's yeah. Moon. Hunter's yeah. Moon. It is Hunter. Yeah. Mike uh, Hunter. Mike Hunter. Mike moon. Hunter's Moon. <laughs> I don't want to see that. No. <laughs> Nobody wants. Oh, Oh, nice fight. Boy. Go, 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 oh, go, Nice go. run. Keep pushing them. Wow. There you go. Yeah, That's Nikki. fantastic. I thought that was a pick six. That's yeah. where that rug, rugby scrum comes in. Yeah. Right? Nice, Nicky, getting you right in on. He got us right yeah. in on that. He's this isn't his first rodeo. <laughs> no, that's the best in the business right there. <laughs> no yeah. doubt, Mark. Trained by me. <laughs> exactly, right? He started basketball with you way back in the day. Okay. I only before inherited he became, him. Before he became manager. And, right, he was still in school here, I think. And then Steve Mitchell took over for him when he, uh, when when he, he was the out. manager. Okay. Because Steve's uh, stepson, Hunter Phillips, was oh, on the yeah, team yeah, yeah. with Corey. Yep. My son, yep. yeah. Got third and four on the 35. Good tense, keeping us in the he our head in the oh, game. Oh, wow. Who's that, Mark? Good. Number five. Uh, Jacob Isabel. Yep. Jake Isabel. All right. Jacob, um, Sophomore. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are. Okay. Wow. How many kids did they dress? I We guesstimated about 75. They got and that's JV and varsity, yeah. right? Okay. They got 156 in the program, 9 through 12. Wow. I think they've lost a couple guys. So they're at 150. Okay. Fourth down and three. Oh, here we go. Load the box. They got it. Uh, give it yep. Uh, uh, he's Let's signaling. See. There it is. There it is. Yeah, Jake. You're not going to bring the sticks out, Mike. No. I mean, at this late in the game, they're, I mean, hey, clock's running. They're burning time. Eight minutes to go on the floor. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be like a 35-minute half. It's a record. This guy, that could a record. be a record. All right. So another first down. Here we go. Let's put a crooked number That's up, too guys. bad. I'd like to see us get on the board. 100%, dude. Good Mike, call. we missed this, this, this uh, young man, uh, Nolan Pendergast, yeah. sophomore kicker, missed a 37-yarder by about eight feet. Really? Yeah, just under the crossbar. Oh, wow. Wow. So he, he can, you know, I don't know how well he caught that one, but I'd yeah. say 35 and in. Definitely, wow. yeah. 
I would agree. I definitely would agree. That's a big. That's a big boot. And no, what's his a, year? He's a sophomore. sophomore. He's a little dude too. He's not his big. Fa- his father wow. kicked at Notre Dame. Okay. He's oh, a, that's Sean's uh, son. He's not big. He's that's like, Kevin's okay. son or yeah. Kevin's son. I was wondering Ooh, nice about pass. that. Is that Butler? Yeah, that's Butler. Wow. That's Kevin's son. Yeah. Yeah, Shane. Shane Butler. Wow. I coached him at St. Mary's of Simsbury basketball. Kevin Pettergast? Yeah. He went to, to Notre Dame on a soccer scholarship. Correct. And Lou Holtz came to the soccer coach and said, send me your five strongest legs. Yeah. Because there was like two games left in the season yeah. and their kickers were hurt. Kevin got the call. He made a game-winning field goal in the Rose Bowl. I saw that. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> No, 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 no. Let it go or go, 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 go. That a boy. Nice play, Pat. Well, thank you, Mark, for that factoid. Yeah, that's a big and one. And then his mom is Kate Townsley, and she was inducted to the Hall of Fame three years ago. Yep. So some good athletic genes there. Absolutely. Yeah. That was a great induction. And Kevin's father was a big Yukon. AD, I think. Not AD. In. He was head of community relations where he would talk to donors. Right. And he would smooth donors, and he was very connected. Yes. And he was a really cool guy. You remember, Mr. The amount Rupp of history Gass. the two of you carry right. is staggering. Yeah. It really is right. staggering. I was 25 years old when I coached him. All you got to do is come to a Sinsbury Sabercats game and just sit between Mike Sinicori and Tim Vincent. And that's all oh, you yeah. Do. That's it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I don't know about that, Mark. I would have to be there. Yeah. Then maybe you'd have yeah. it all. There aren't many people with Rogers <laughs> in Psycho's <laughs> area of mind. Yeah. You're right there, Mikey. The and of course, Timmy. The first selection. But Timmy forgets things. I have to remind him about some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I keep telling him, Tim Prevagen. Prevagen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and he forgets that. <laughs> Here we go, guys. First, Touche. First, first and goal. <laughs> Here we go, City. First and goal. We're going to score. All right. Get us in there, Nicky. Go, Oh, get there in, There you go. There you go. Uh-huh. Oh, he got popped, yeah, huh? He yeah, he did. Ooh. Oh, I want to see a score yeah, so bad. Yeah, but did you see them lead with Butler? Like, Butler had a nice block. There. Yep. Yep. Well, she's a big kid. Jeez, we're already down to almost four minutes left in the in the game. Yeah. I know. Oh, the the referee, white hat. The, yeah, white, the white hat. hat. He's got a white hat on tonight. You got to take it off my buddy Marcus, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a big. I'm, I'm telling you, that old line looks pretty big. Here we go. Second down. Madison Blitz. back to pass. Oh, oh, oh Nicky. Touchdown. Yeah. <laughs> Funky Cole Medina. Very nice. Very nice. Nice hands. Great hands. Nice. Alex Medina, Jr. wide out with a touchdown. That's fantastic. That was a great catch. What are you guys thinking? Onside kick? (laughs) I don't think so. I don't think they're going to bring sticks out, Mike. (laughs) All right, here we go. Let's see here. Now, Tansk, I might go for two. Here's Pendergast. Oh, you got Pendergast. Just give me the point. Yeah. Give me the PAT. There you oh, go. Wow. Yeah. Dude, if he had popped that yeah. uh, on that field goal attempt, that would have gone. He roasted that one. He was playing the JV game at Maloney, and he kicked a 40-yard field goal. He did? Did he? Wow. He got that one. Three minutes to go. So we'll probably get maybe two more downs. Southington will have two more downs. We're beating them in the second half. 7-6. I should have showed up earlier. Right, Tins? That's, that's <laughs> true. They missed the extra point. They should have gone for two, Mike. They must have. <laughs> Tans, Mike said that. Coach Sinecori showed up, and it all hell broke loose. You know, all kidding aside, I'm, hey, t- I, I'm thrilled that they put up seven. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, yeah. they're going to win the second half. That's kind of weird. It is weird. Yeah. Nick's yeah. Zoom in on well, hold on. Yeah. Wow. Roger. Well, running time. Two, two minutes and 23 seconds left still, so. You're right. Oh, they're right. not going to score again. <laughs> Southington's not going to score. There's no way. There's no way. Now we'll stop clock. 
Wow, you got to be kidding me. And it's still run is, clock. Isaac it's still run one. clock as it's right at 35. Two minutes. Yeah. Boop. I was half kidding, but I'm wondering it. Why not? You know, you don't get a chance to practice what are you the onside doing, kick. I don't disagree. I mean, but you also he hasn't had a lot of time to kick PATs either. Thank you, yeah. Mister. Yeah. True. Well, that's an interesting story. Wow. I got to tell my buddy Jim Jackson about Nolan. All Where's right, it? they go. They nice. go long. That's a nice kick right there. That was Good coverage. Pendergast. Good coverage. Come on. Oof. That was a nice. I mean, he, see that? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Southern they're a physical team, right? So instead of going out of bounds, he throws yeah. his shoulder. Yeah. You know? So, Mike, we won the coin toss. Okay. That was Rashad Williams. First, can you clam up for a second, Tom? Sorry. First play. <laughs> You're so hard on me. He's man. brutal. I want, a, I want a divorce. I swear to God. <laughs> I want a divorce. I, I made him watch the last game just so he could see that how he talks over me a lot. But then with this new booster set. But it's so hard. It's like you, you, could, talk tell so much. you could tone him down. <laughs> can, I, can I finish the story about the All first right. play, Tom? Right. Yeah, or you want to announce some JV player who made a tackle on Southington? <laughs> I'm not even talking no to you anymore. Cares we're, about. We're, hey, we're wait a minute. Here. There's a penalty. Yeah. So anyway, first play, yeah. Mike. Reverse Simsbury ball. Reverse. Yep. Flea flicker. Yep. 45, 50 yard pass down to the 40. Shane uh, Shane Butler just went through the basket. Oh. I, he tough. was so excited. Yep. And that ball was up there for so long, and he was so open. He wouldn't have scored, yep. but it was a really cool play. Wow. First play right out of the gate. That is cool. That's cool. Yeah, so I feel bad for Shane. He'll get more chances. It was a well-designed play. I mean, it, yeah. was, it was nice. 100%. Now, uh, tell me the, the top quarterback or their number one is out. In. He's, no, out. he's out. He's out. He's got to be out. Under a minute. Yeah, we're under a minute. So. That's it. Yep. That's it. Why is the clock stopped? I think they just called it. Called it? You can't just call it, yeah. can you? Yeah. Wow, apparently they did. Wow, I've never, so 42 wow. to 7. Nikki, get on that handshake never line. I've never yep. seen that before yeah. either. No, me neither. I mean, 35 points. Yeah, but still, I mean. That's weird. That was weird. What is yeah. that? What's the point? Maybe they, this, could they have not had to take another snap? I don't know. Could have been. Yeah. Fellas, listen, in the era of everybody gets a trophy, doesn't surprise me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Right? That was rough. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Hey, we're here <laughs> dropping truth bombs. <laughs> yeah, let's not drop That's a lot of kids. That's a lot of players, That's Mark. a lot of yeah, look yeah. That. that is. Yeah, that's a ton. So, Pete Crow, take it easy. Nice job right, on the board, Goodbye, kid. Pete Crow. I'm glad Tance could tutor you on that scoreboard. That was good. <laughs> 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 See you, Petey. I hate you, Roger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Roger. But anyway, so uh, any closing thoughts, Tom? You've done a remarkable job today, Tom. <laughs> I mean that, seriously. And uh, I, all joking aside, we just like to have some fun. Absolutely, yeah. And he gives it to me, trust me, just as much as I give it to him. But, Tance, so we got we got New Britain coming in here. Yes, sir. Next week. Um, you know, that, I think that's a winnable game for us. I really do. I agree. Uh, that was one of the Southington uh, uh, common opponents. They beat them the first game of the season. Southington beat New Britain at New Britain 44-23. Okay. So New Britain scored 23 against Southington. We put up seven. Uh, the score allowed was pretty much the same. So I don't know. Yeah. And then after that, uh, these guys, Southern going to play Maloney next, which is number that's two good, in the state. That's a good game. It's going to yeah. be a great yeah. game. That'll be a great game. At Southington, so that's going to be tough. And then Simsbury travels to Hall uh, yeah. for their game nine, and game ten is at Glastonbury, probably their senior night. Yep, yep. Uh, so, you know, that's just kind of how that'll go. And G. Berry's beatable. G. Berry, yeah, yeah. yeah they're beatable. Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. Have they played Southington next? No, they they play them uh, in two weeks. Have they had a, a down year? 
Who's that? Glasser? Glasser? Yeah, yeah, tough one. Here's Nicky Sneaky. Yeah, look at Sneaky Sidney. Getting my uh, bald spot. He's always Here's looking. Here's the crew. For here we got Tom Tansky. We got we got Tom Tansky. We got Mike. We got Mark Hebler in the booth. Baseball guy, just checking things out. We got Nicky Sinney. Beautiful. And I am booth. Roger Coombs. So uh, we want to thank Bree Gils Goolsby down at the studio, Patrick Phelan, who does a phenomenal job, and uh, all the folks on the Simsbury Community Board. Uh, it's been a great season so far here. We got the new booth. You know, the Trojans will just keep battling. They got three more games left, and uh, we wish them the best. Any closing remarks, Tant, seriously, that you can think no. of? Happy Halloween. Yes. Yeah. Happy Halloween. Happy Thanks Halloween. for including me, fellas. It's always okay. great. It's always great to be part of this. And really Nick Sinicori, great job, Nikki, as always, kid. Love you like a son. All right. Good night, everybody. See ya. Funding for Simsbury Community Television is provided in part by contributions from viewers like you. Thank you.